sit where you're at, get where you can see in here. We got a special guest for you guys tonight, Coach. Uh, Mr. Larson is going to introduce him. All right. Coming in. Okay. So I pulled some strings, and I got Dwayne Johnson in here for you. <laughs> I'm just messing. But hey, we got the next best thing, okay? Walmart this is one of my best friends. He played football here, graduated right in 2000, played with Marquise. We were all kind of in the same frame group, okay? Went on to play tight end at BYU, became a successful businessman, and actually he's a stun double for The Rock. So I asked him to come down. He lives in Utah. He's going to come have a little conversation with you guys real quick. Philip New. Come on in. Hey, here we go. Three claps on ready. Ready. Let's do it. Appreciate you, boys. Can you boys hear me in the back? Man, it feels so good to be back here, man. It's totally different here. We got these official lockers, places to sit down. So back in 2000, just got to give you guys a little background. Brandon gave me a good introduction. Thank you for that, Brandon. So Brandon and I made a lot of stupid choices, like I'm sure none of you are making. But uh, as a kid, you need mentors in your life, right? Yes, sir. You got good coaches? Yes, sir. They know more than you, so listen to them, right? All right, so. Back in 2000, we were coming into fall camp. I love telling this story because this story made an impact on me because of who Marquise is and who Riley Havlin were. We go into fall camp in California, Whittier College. Opening practice, we're all out on the field getting ready. Guess who's late? Marquise. They slept in. This is one of our main starting dudes. We're all sitting there thinking, oh crap, they're in trouble. They're in real trouble. What do you think our head coach did? Random. You think around, right? Yes, sir. They came out onto the field. He said, I need you boys to sit down on the corner. They watched the entire practice. At the end of practice, our coach made us run our guts out in front of them until we were all thrown up. What kind of lesson do you think Marquise learned that day? Be there for his brothers. Always be there for your brothers. Ever since that time, Marquise was never late, always made good choices. When he got drafted in the third round, one of his first phone calls was to me. We just got done training and said, I'm going to take you shopping. Took me shopping, bought me some stuff. He was always showing up for his, his teammates, always showing up for his boys, even when he was making it big time. This fly is killing me, man. <laughs> That's the kind of guy Marquise is. But Marquise didn't build himself. Marquise was built by the people around him and by the mentors in his life, starting with his dad and his amazing mom, and then his coaches, and then good players around him. I will tell you your life by who you surround yourself with. Who you surround yourself with is who you are today. And if you want to become someone better, surround yourself with better people. But if you think you want to surround yourself with better people, ask yourself this question, what kind of a person are you? See, back when I was playing with you, playing at, uh, here in Highland, I was a poor kid growing up here. Family experience, homelessness, two different times, living with cousins. I didn't have enough money for cleats. Good players like you donated the rest of your cleats into a little bin here in the back. So I found some cleats. My feet were falling off the sides. The training room gave me extra tape every, every game so I could tape my, uh, my feet up. I had good coaches that would always pull me aside and say, is there anything else I can do for you? I saw this place as a resource. They saw potential in me, and so they always pulled me aside, and they gave me help. Every single coach here on this staff, every single trainer, everybody's here to help you. You need to, you need to let them know what kind of help you need and they will give the shirt off their back for you. And you will look back on this program, you'll look back at this time and ask yourself, what kind of a man do I want to become later on in life when football's over? You'll look back to these lessons you're learning, you'll look back to the brothers that you're sweating with, bleeding with, crying with, and winning with, because you're going to win tonight. You're going to win tonight? Yes, sir! You're going to get after it tonight, you're going to remember tonight. You're going to remember every night after this. You're going to make great choices, you're going to be great leaders, you're going to be great friends, and you're going to honor and respect your leaders here because your leaders are here to help hold you accountable because they don't care about football at the end of the day. They care about you guys becoming great men. Great men who are respectable, who make great choices. They show up for their people no matter what. Got it? Yes, sir. Right, so let's get out there and freaking win this game. Let's go tear this team up. Let's go Hawks. Go. Yes. Let's go. Hawks on three. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Woo. Let's go. Let's go.